what's up everyone? It's Dave and we're back with our next reading of the Old Testament. Um, so we're in the book of Leviticus and we're on chapter 26 today and we'll be reading out of the New King James Version, which I keep in my car. So Leviticus chapter 26. If you don't have a Bible, you can go to Bible.com and read for free. You can also download the Version app and read for free as well there. Um, I was going to read this one earlier today. But I decided to wait until lunchtime because I wanted to make sure that I um, didn't read through it super fast uh, because it does have some some kind of cool things in it. But um, so chapter 26 talks about the promise of blessing and retribution. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, only 46 verses long, but. Um, the way that it's broken down in my Bible, it's almost like reading the book of Psalms is kind of what it looks like. But um, anyways, uh, I want to go ahead and get started on it. It is 46 verses long, so I know some of you don't have the attention span for that. Let's just be honest. <laughs> All right, here we go. Promise and blessings and retribution. <clears throat> You should not make idols for yourselves, neither a carved image nor a sacred pillar shall you rear up for yourselves, nor shall you set up an engraved stone on your land to bow down to it. For I am the Lord your God. You shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. If you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and perform them, then I will give you rain in its season. The land shall yield its produce, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Your threshing shall last till the time of vintage, and the vintage shall last till the time of sowing. You shall eat your bread to the full and dwell in your land safely. I will give you peace in the land, and you shall lie down, and none will make you afraid. I will rid the land of evil beasts, and the sword will not go through your land. You will chase your enemies, and they shall fall by the sword before you. Five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. Your enemies shall fall by the sword before you. For I will look upon you favorably, and make you fruitful, multiply you, and confirm my covenant with you. You shall eat the old harvest, and clear out the old because of the new. I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul shall not abhor you. I will walk among you, and be your God, and you shall be my people. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt that you should not be their slaves. I have broken the bands of your yoke and made you walk upright. But if you do not obey me and do not observe all these commandments, and if you despise my statutes, or if your soul abhors my judgments, so that you do not perform all of my commandments but break my covenant, I will also do this to you. I will even appoint terror over you, wasting disease and favor, fever which shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. And you shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. I will set my face against you, and I will, and you shall be defeated by your enemies. Those who hate you shall reign over you, and you shall flee when no one pursues you. After all this, if you do not obey me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. I will break the pride of your power. I will make your heavens like iron and your earth like bronze and that your strength shall be spent in vain. For your land shall not yield its produce, nor shall the trees of the land yield their fruit. Then if you walk contrary to me, and you are not willing to obey me, I will bring upon you seven times more plagues according to your sins. I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children, destroy your livestock, and make you few in number, and your highways shall be desolate. And if by these things you are not reformed by me, but walk contrary to me, then I will also walk contrary to you, and I will punish you seven times for your sins. And I will bring a sword against you that will execute the vengeance of the covenant. When you are gathered together within your cities, I will send pestilence among you, and you shall be delivered into the hand of your enemy. When I have cut off your supply of bread, ten women shall bake your bread in one oven, and they shall bring back your bread by weight, and you shall eat and not be satisfied. After all this, if you do not obey me but walk contrary to me, then I will also walk contrary to you in fury. And I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins. 
You shall eat the flesh of your sons, and you shall eat the flesh of your daughters. I will destroy your high places, cut down your incense altars, and cast your carcasses on the lifeless forms of your idols, and my soul shall abhor you. I will lay your cities waste and bring your sanctuaries to desolation, and I will not smell the fragrance of your sweet aromas. I will bring the land to desolation, and your enemies who dwell in it shall be astonished by it. I will scatter you among the nations and draw out a sword after you. Your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. Then the land shall enjoy its Sabbaths as long as it lies desolate and you are in your enemy's land. Then the land shall rest and enjoy its Sabbaths. As long as it lies desolate, it shall rest. For the time it did not rest on your Sabbaths when you dwelt in it. And as for those of you who are left, I will send faintness into their hearts in the land of their enemies. The sound of a shaken leaf shall cause them to flee. They shall flee as though fleeing from a sword, and they shall fall when no one pursues. They shall stumble over one another as if it were before a sword when no one pursues. And you shall have no power to stand before your enemies. You shall perish among the nations, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And those of you who are left shall waste away in their iniquities in your enemies' lands, also in their fathers' iniquities which are with them. They shall waste away. But if they confess their iniquities and their iniquity of their fathers with their unfaithfulness in which they were unfaithful to me, and that they also have watched contrary to me, and that I have also watched contrary to them and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if their uncircumcised hearts are humbled and they accept their guilt, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob, my covenant with Isaac, my covenant with Abraham, I will remember. I will remember the land. The land shall also be left empty by them, and will enjoy its Sabbath while it lies desolate without them. They will accept their guilt because they despised my judgments, and because their souls abhorred my statutes. Yet for all that, when they are in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away, nor shall I abhor them, to utterly destroy them and break my covenant with them, for I am the Lord their God. But for their sake I will remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the nations, that I might be their God. I am the Lord. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between himself and the children of Israel on Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. What a powerful chapter and probably my favorite chapter in the book of Leviticus that I have read yet. Man, that absolutely love that. You know, all... The Lord tells you how he's going to bless you and like all the good things he's going to do for you. And then he tells you and very distinctly, you know, how he's going to punish you if you don't. And then he ends it with, if you come back to him and you ask for forgiveness, he will forgive you and remember his covenant that he has with us. This is also a reminder for everyone who wants to just scream and from the rooftops that God is love. God is love. He is a God of love. But remember, he is also a God of judgment. He is also a God who, as it says in here, he will abhor you. All right? So, God is love. But don't push that love. It's a dangerous game to play. Hope you all enjoyed this chapter as much as I did. We have one more chapter to go in the book of, Le of Leviticus. So, um, thanks so much for watching. From Central Texas, as always, God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you, unseen you're not a